Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the U.S. House of Representatives and the Democratic Party helping Johnson retain his position as chief babysitter. I'm, I'm sorry, as Speaker of the House. Because reporting suggests that that decision has been made and that that's what they're going to do. They are going to protect Johnson and keep him as Speaker of the House. As soon as that reporting came out, questions came in. General tone of most of them, is this the right move for the Democratic Party? Why would they do this? So on and so forth. Okay, well, the easiest way to do this is go through the options that they had available, and then you pick the one you would have done. Option one, you try to get Speaker Jeffries. <laughs> I mean, that would be the goal if you're the Democratic Party, right? You try to swing things that way. I know that there are people who believe that the Democratic Party is not always that politically savvy or capable, but I do believe that even those people think that the Democratic Party can count. If they had the votes for that, that's what they'd be doing. If there was a shot of that occurring, that is what they would be doing right now. They obviously don't have the votes. Um, so that one, it's an option. Option one is an option, but only in theory. It's off the table. Option two, you do nothing. You're the Democratic Party, you do nothing. That is a Republican problem. We're not getting involved. They have to decide for themselves. If that occurs, what happens? Motion to vacate moves forward. Probably a bunch of chaos, a bunch of gridlock, takes some time to get a new speaker, so on and so forth. Now, last time this occurred, the Republican Party caught the blame for it because it really is their issue. But if it happens again and they come out and say the Democratic Party they, they were just intractable. Even after we compromised on the aid package or whatever they use, that might shift the blame to the Democratic Party. Is it certain? No. But it's a possibility. And then you look at who you might get as the next speaker. Also uncertain. Generally speaking, Politicians, they don't like uncertainty. That, that's not something that they enjoy. But that is still an option. may not be one that a lot of them like, but it, it gets to stay on the table. Okay, so what's the next option? You help the space laser lady. You help Marjorie Taylor Greene. Okay, if you do that, what occurs? You give the Twitter faction, the MAGA faction, and by extension, Trump, a win. Something that he can take credit for, because he will. And then you have the chaos, the uncertainty about who's going to be speakers, so on and so forth. And now the Democratic Party has taken an active role in creating that chaos. That doesn't seem like a good idea. It seems like doing nothing would be the better option there. There's still the uncertainty, but the uncertainty exists with both. And doing nothing, you don't guarantee the, the MAGA faction a win. And then you have the option of protecting Johnson. What does that do? Well, you're stuck with Johnson, who is definitely proving to be better than people anticipated at doing this. At the same time, you hand the Twitter faction, the MAGA faction, a loss because they didn't get to do their little motion to vacate and cause the chaos that they wanted and get the prolonged social media clicks. And you also give Johnson a loss. He gets to keep his job, he gets to be the babysitter, but he only gets to keep it because you allowed it. And sure, 
there is probably going to be some goodwill generated there. But beyond that, him keeping that position because you allowed it weakens him in the Republican Party, especially among the Twitter faction, MAGA faction, because he's just a rhino. He needed help from the Democrats, and they're, they're, they're evil, bad people. So going that route, you create red on red fire. You encourage the infighting that is already occurring. And you get the certainty of knowing who the speaker is going to be. And realistically, you look like you're just paying back the votes that he gave you for Ukraine. I mean, which would you choose? It's not the option they wanted, obviously. But it appears that out of the options that they could realistically perform, those that they could really choose, it's probably the best one. Um, and again, I think that it's a, it should be a high priority for the Democratic Party to make sure that Johnson does not become McConnell. Getting him out of the speaker's seat, maybe it does that, but maybe it doesn't. This way, you, you kind of guarantee that there is an undercurrent within the Republican Party that views him as you know, part of the uniparty or whatever. And uh, he gets resistance from inside his own party. Not just up on the House, but maybe among voters nationally, even outside of his district, they may view him as somebody who betrayed the Republican Party. That seems like the better option. Um, again, at this point, we'll have to wait and see what actually occurs. But from what I understand, they're going to use a procedural thing to kind of just get rid of this before it starts. Which means while the Democratic Party is you know, apparently committed to that course, they don't really want to do it like way out in public. At least that's the way it seems right now. We'll see as uh, things progress. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.